Hey guys, I'm gonna do, I haven't made a video in like forever and I'm so sorry I haven't. I just been so bonked and I finally got my new camera. So I finally get to use it today, yay. And um, I finally started actually recording my room, finding a place to put my stuff. And now you can see my bookshelf, which is kind of messed up right now. And um, today's book review, you're gonna definitely like. I definitely enjoyed it from probably, not at the beginning, but probably like three, one, fourth of the book and then I finally, because there's just so much, I'll explain later, but yes. And um, my book review is on the Red Blood Road. And if you're Canadian, you're probably thinking this is not the cover I usually see. And yes, this is actually a US book. Um, I think because my friend, I bought it while I was at the US and I was like, okay, let me just go buy a book. and definitely gonna read it. I actually got really interested in this book like so much and I love the binding of it. And I'm actually gonna do one of my guilty pleasure books which I love so much on Wednesday and you guys can definitely check that. Okay so the book is about a girl named Saba who is 18 years old but, and one day while well, she was with her twin brother Lou who um, they eventually they met meet up with some strangers on horses and as her brother was talking to him she he eventually gets kidnapped and at once she once he gets kidnapped Saba is determined to find him and she finds out so much about herself and so much she loves about her character about herself and how she loves about the other people and how much she cares about for everybody else that and she find, she meets, she sees a whole other world of herself. Not just herself, but her whole society. And finds out her isolated world is not just what it is. So, this book is just four stars out of five. Fantastic, phenomenal, just so good. Meeting Saba for the first time, you meet her as this... Oh, I'm never gonna forgive this. I'm always gonna believe my dad kind of person. But you kind of realize that she isn't the type of person to trust people. And that's one thing off the bat I kind of loved about her. I love that thing about Katniss and having her, having Saba, that personality trait was phenomenal. But you, not only that, you see the development and the growth and so much of the the like the per like you actually see a rivalry between the siblings not she you meet um Emmy who is her seven year old sister and you they don't really like each other and you kind of see the development really grow and you see how much she literally cares and how much she realize how much people care about not much of a spoiler, I'm not actually going to tell you how much, how you finally realize that, but it is a pretty good novel. The writing is just so different too, you can honestly tell I have sticky notes, and all my sticky notes are just what they meant, all the writing, what they meant, because there was just so much slang into the story, and that fits so much and so well with the society, you just like, oh my gosh. This is so great. That is so cool. Also, like the writing style is also different. I actually read a lot of dialogue where there's the quotation at the, the quotation. The quotes at the end and you wanna go, wait, how come this one doesn't have it in here? But yeah, it actually is like that and I'm really I was really enjoying this book when I finished it. I actually read from I think here. And I finished that all in a day. But yeah, whatever. And yeah, so I do recommend this book if you are in dystopian romance and action person. This is, has like action and then the romance are coming near the end and then comes all together with another impact awesomeness and you're just gonna love it. And you know, you find some, some few random things about the characters that you should really know and get to know because there's just so much you need to think about and just so freaking amazing so 
Yeah. Thanks for watching for my review. I'll be putting up my delirium video in a bit. But um, I'm posting this video and delirium and another video tomorrow on my guilty pleasure book. And I hope you guys definitely do check out reading this book. I do not regret reading this book. Do not regret buying this book. I actually bought it for a pretty good price. <laughs> but anyways, whatevs. You can definitely check it out. And you can obviously check if you have Kobo, you can get a preview and see if you really want it. Just so fucking good. I'm not kidding. But let me know if I should read the Game of Thrones series. Definitely one of the books on my reading list. I just don't know if I want to read it yet because I still have to finish reading the Ugly series, the rest of the Ugly series. I have to finish Dark Life, which is another book for my reading club. I have to read Never Out of Sky and I have to read, I finish reading The Iron King which um, my friend still has but it's a pretty good book just so boring at the beginning <laughs> but, uh, but anyways um, yeah so if I should read The Game of Thrones I'm definitely going to read it during summer while I'm on my um, bubbly trip and yeah me, I'm actually going to show you guys a website in a little bit a quick video of um, a really cool website that I find out and um, I think a lot of people are on it yeah a lot of Facebook friends and fans so yeah and you can only win cool stuff from it so give you guys that later bye, bye.